Today, we'll learn how to create and customize menu items for your client's intranet. The menu items are a great place to put custom links to off-site areas that the client accesses frequently. On the end user side of things, menu items show up under the Applications page. You can see here that they're grouped by different categories like Business Applications and Business Applications Admin, Office 365, and more, with links to each respective tool and website found within these categories. To create your own, we'll start by navigating down to Partner and then Content on the left-hand side of the feature sets. Then we'll locate the menu section. If you're just starting in with Cloud Radial, you'll see a set of menu options similar to my own here. To add a new package of menu items, we'll click on Add at the top right. Select Menu as the content type. You can name it whatever you like. This name won't be visible to clients, it's just here to help you keep your content packages better organized. I'll name mine Google Applications. You can also choose to create a package for everyone, for admins, or for other user groups you've created. I'll make mine available to everyone in my All Company group. Sometimes it makes sense to limit certain menu items to certain clients. For example, if you've got lots of Office 365 app links, it won't make any sense for non-Office 365 clients. That's where company groups can come in handy. For more instructions on creating and managing user and company groups, check out the videos I've linked in the description below. Now we'll click Submit. I've created my folder to hold all my new Google links, but I need to fill it in. Once I click on my content package, I'll click on Add once again at the top right. Start by filling out the category, which will be the general name that these links will live under. I'll swap back to a live view to give you an example. Currently, I've got a Business Applications category with several links underneath it. Then, I've got the names of the applications with their respective logos, like Zoho Books. Keep in mind that when you create a package, you can set it to any category you want, meaning I could put my Google Applications button in a Google category, or I could add them to the Business Applications category. During this video, I'll do both to demonstrate. Let's head back to Partner Content. I'll put it under Business Applications. Note that to put it under the same category, the names must match. Now I'll name my link. I'll call this one Google Search. Then I'll link the site. I can also choose if I want tooltip text when people hover over it. Display Order lets you manually choose what order the application goes in. Now I'll select an icon to go with it. And the color I'd like the icon to be. I'll go ahead and search for Google. And I'll make it red. Remember that you can also upload your own thumbnail via the From Image URL button. If you do it this way, be sure to upload the thumbnail file to the Cloud Radio Media Library using this button on the right. It works even if you don't, but links can break, leaving you with a broken looking button. Finally, the Instructions field lets you input text that will pop up before the user goes to the site. I'll add some here so we can see what it looks like. All set. Now I'll click Submit and publish it out. I'm going to repeat the exact same steps quickly, but I'll put my Google search in its own category and I won't have any instruction text with this one. Now, let's head back to the Applications page and see what it looks like. Depending on your feature set, your Applications page can be your home page. I'll link the video below on Feature Sets, which includes how to change your home page. Under Business Applications, we can see my new Google Search link right here, with the tooltip text hovering above it. When I click on it, my instruction text pops up, and then if I hit Continue, I'll go straight to my link. My other category is down here. Note that it's organized by alphabetical order. And the link works for this one just as well. Customizing the menu items under Partner Content gives you a set that you can deploy out to your clients. But you can also create individual menu items unique to individual clients by clicking the Add button at the top right of the application screen and following the same exact steps. On the end user side of things, users can right click menu items and add them to a favorites category. This will automatically be pinned to the top. Additionally, favorites can be accessed from any page on Cloud Radial via the grid icon on the top left. 
So be sure to encourage your clients to customize and set their favorites.